All right, so continuing on. Reducing pollution and making polluters let pay. Um, what about the Democrats that also pollute as well, too? Because remember, Joe Manchin, like, again, for the um, Inflation Reduction Act, they have to be, like, um, carve-outs or, like, the fossil fuel industry had to be included in that sort of thing too big polluters as you say hey and in order to get that passed joan manson had to have those like our thoughts for the fossil fuel industry to continue to exist and so we still kind of like are helping the big polluters being polluters uh, but i guess those are different polluters that like democrats are talking about making pay Anyway, let's continue on. Uh, these transformative investments in American energy are lowering energy costs and creating good paying jobs, revitalizing local economies and reducing pollution. Um, transportation is America's biggest emitters and responsible for like a third of the emissions. The administrations have like put us on task to like limited old carbon from the sector by 2050. Is making generational investments in transportation infrastructure, including in cleaner shipping, uh, trucking, uh, transit, uh, rail, and like aviation. It has issued the toughest ever fuel economy and tail pipeline standards, so new cars uh, both get like better mileage and reduce emissions per mile uh, by as much as 50%. I wish that we can also like uh, build a society where it's like people are not reliant on like having cars and needing cars to do transportation and everything like that. Uh, uh, cars for like rural people, sure, and probably like a car library or like a tool library. We all love the idea of libraries, don't we? Just get to borrow books. Like you'll read it for all like, as long as you have it. But there's many other things that like libraries you can borrow from too. Even like DVDs of anime as well, as well too. Um, and so a tool library would also be like something to like a think about as well too. What about a car library for rural places that uh, people that are live far away from the old other places that like even the cars and transportation become a public good in them themselves. Um, we share a car since well too essentially. Is that like a one car for every person as well too? Kind of like a few number of cars for like the community. If the, there needs to be if there is need for more cars in certain communities, then sure we provide more cars. But it's like this as we have to like re envision in society beyond cars and re imagine society with like far less cars, especially in cities and like in urban places as well too. And abandon the idea of like sub the suburbs. The suburbs are just completely parasitic. Um, is if you're complaining about like squirrels or other animals like hanging around your like house, like bears and something like that, that's because that's what they used to live for generations, and then your house was suddenly there. Uh, and anyway, continue on. With tax credits, Democrats helped with quadrupled sales of electric vehicles, with the goal of 50% of all new like uh, passengers' cars in the U.S. as by like 2030 be electric. We are protecting American children with asthma-related diesel po pollutions by giving the schools district rebates to buy a thousand electric school buses so kids don't have to like breathe polluted air. We will keep working to electrify the nation's like a fleet of school buses. Uh, in transit buses and the federal vehicles, including the U.S. Postal Service fleet, we're doubling the uh, we're double finding to repair and like expand active like transportation and public transit, reduce pollution and traffic, and connecting people to job opportunities. And we all work to like electrify our ports and waterways, prioritizing progress towards like a goal of zero emission freight. Um. absolutely continue to expand uh, and maybe so other places kind of like get the public transit system like uh, correct where it's like a kind of like a light rail system or a subway system either subway where it's a below ground or like above ground either way by a light system yeah but because the only thing that makes that pollution are their buses nothing else produces pollution no nope yep yep i want to talk about the buses as well too Unfortunately, like in Seattle, is like there is like one or two uh, light ways, uh, light rail systems as well too. That's about it. Um, in twenty twenty seven, the light rail is actually going to be connected. Let's see, where am I? Right over there. Uh, so it's like I can just wake up and like take that light rail and go all the way all the way into Seattle. But that's like in three years time, twenty twenty seven. It's a good thing. It just feels like absolutely bare minimum to me. I agree, Lucidia. Yeah, I agree. And 
I mean, I guess like the Democrats are not going are not interested at all in changing the America's car culture to like uh, abandon the car culture and encourage more people to, like uh, not take cars. But again, if like housing was cheap and affordable and easy to come by in cities, I mean, I I know someone that that did work at like uh, my company that basically just live across the street. And he loved it, though, because, like, oh, I'm taking a day off, but, oh, I have to, like, go in to, like, fill out some paperwork for, like, uh, my benefits as well, too, because it's open and and sure. And so I was like, I thought you were, like, wait a minute, I saw so-and-so, like, here today. And no, he has the day off. But wasn't he here in the office? Well, he lives across the street. He was just here to sign papers. Some people would probably want to like that uh, uh, that work uh, uh, work in like a life separation so far that they will live somewhere else and not live at the work site as well too. Well, I understand that they want to live at the work site as well too. But like having like housing not being close by to like businesses would be advantageous as well too. So again, if like it's like housing or apartments were super affordable in like Seattle, that like anyone that's working minimum wage of twenty dollars an hour in Seattle. Oh, they can just live in Seattle and then bus wherever it is. Um, it still sucks that, like, in Seattle's, like, public transit system as it is, is, like, busing. I think, like, the one city with, like, kind of the best public transit system in, like, um, the USA is, like, Portland. And still, even still, I didn't think that Portland's public transit system was, like, the the greatest. It was actually pretty good. Um when I was, like, in Portland for, like, Americon, I, like, mentioned a friend, hey, I'm in town right now. It's like, we should probably meet up. Oh, yeah, we should. And so, yeah, they were like, hey, come to here at this time. It's like, oh, I could easily like, hop on the train to come there. Hey, I'll come to this. So I meet my friend's uh, girlfriend and also a friend that they know from, like, Twitter at both places, surprisingly. But this was, like, years before Elon Musk took up with Twitter. So, oh, and I had a great time right, with my friend, um, and my friend Jamie J, Slide to Flighty One. She'll, they'll sometimes come in the, the chat. And they'll come in the chat and say, hi, I'm gay. So I met their one of their partners then, had a great conversation. Ironically, talking about the politics of, like, technical porn. That ran, that did randomly come up. Their partner at the time was Japanese, and so we talked about anime. And like, I let the conversation talk about tentacle porn <laughs> from anime. Yeah, Twitter was a slightly better place back then before Elon Musk took over. It. Absolutely, uh, it's just a terrible place now. Honestly, I'm I'm glad I'm not like seeing the worst of like what happens on Twitter. But it's just like, yeah, it's a shit show. Um, from, from my, based on my interactions on threads, is like threads is also a shit show too, if you ask me. It's more so like a shit show of just like so many fucking bootlickers. Again, people it did say to me that no housing is not a human right. Shelter is, but not housing. And they differentiate that like, like shelter is a human right, but not a home or apartment. They count shelter as like. Yeah, Facebook is also a shit show. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And that Threads is like the Facebook version of Twitter. So it makes sense that so many fucking bootlickers are on like Threads. Uh, because I said, it's your grandpa. It's like, so I, I agree social media is on a shit show. Again, with like, so the thing is like with social media, the algorithm is there to keep you on the site for as long as possible. And unfortunately, the one that like causes mo the, the most traction and traffic of any kind of like emotion is anger. So all those social media sites are going to funnel things that are going to make you angry. So when people are complaining about the Twitter mob that harassed like Lindsay Ellis off the platform as were too, I just simply voice my critiques of Lindsay Ellis as well too. But I'm being well. It's accused of being one of the Twitter mobs as well too. Oh, I definitely voiced my criticisms of like Contra points as well too. But it, I was part of the Twitter Twitter mob that was canceling Contra points as well too. And no talk about Twitter fueling that mob to a point where it's just like someone, another content creator that I respected. Oh yeah, I really enjoyed your videos on like the um the OBS uh, masterclass as well too commented on one of my tweets about Lindsay Ellis. We did not follow each other at all. How did he saw my tweet? Was he scrolling through like the like a uh, topic of Lindsay Ellis and can have come upon my tweet? Or because he was like interacting with, replying to and like liking and interacting with like tweets about Lindsay Ellis that he saw my tweet. Anyway, 
Um, I was uh, off on a tangent there, so like, I apologize. M moving on, back onto the topic. Um, we'll keep pushing to re reduce uh, emissions for America's buildings and heavy uh, industries. We will support state and local efforts to uh, local and state efforts to adopt energy efficient building codes. We require that like low carbon materials and clean and power can be used in all federal buildings by by 2030. And investments in upgrading VA hospitals, federal offices, and K to 12 public schools and like community um, college buildings, making them like innovative, energy efficient, and safe places to learn. And support investments in heavy industry to make America the leading in clean steel, cement, aluminum, and other products. Did he mean? I mean, or aluminum. One's the alloy, one's the actual, like, uh, element. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, I went with aluminum instead of aluminum there. I don't know. I'm sure most people will understand which one I mean. But it's like, there's so many, like, buildings that are not being used, period. How about, like, repurposing those? Or, like, reuse them so that, like, people can be housed. Uh, continue on. We also will keep stepping up uh, actions to crack down on other forms of air and water pollution, repairing damage done by uh, Trump's failed oversight, and making polluters pay. The administration has strengthened dozens of environmental and safety standards to reduce, like, smogs and soot, uh, carbon, methane, mercury, and other toxic pollutants in our communities. After two years of inadequate protections, we're finally banned all cancer causing asbestos, including from homes, cars, and like water filtration sites. Um, will you actually destroy all those like uh, houses that have such things and repair them and rebuild them? Where you house people that ha are in those like things? That's not a problem with like some low and like impoverished like areas as well too, that there's like still lead paint there. For some reason, that reminds me of someone telling me that one here, how is one of like Trump's goals during his presidency was to make it so every single uh, thing that America uses uh, to make a thing is also in, in made in America. Not surprising that like Trump would do that because the Trump's all about America first too. Oh, um, as the Democrats, obviously, as I'm saying. And I'm like, that's impossible. America doesn't and have every single resource in America in the world. Yeah, exactly. I agree. A key ingredient in all of our like computers, laptops, smartphones, and monitors is a, a min mineral called coltan. And the I think the only place that like coltan is like can be found is in the Congo, or it has the best like uh, deposit of coltan in the world, and it's some of the best like um, quality of coltan in the world too. And right now, um. Harvesting and uh, mining coltan in the Congo has so many uh, human rights violations and environmental violations, like child laborers in, in like the Congo. Uh, oh, let's talk about like uh, countries that like United States of America destabilized. The Congo's one of them. Oh yeah, yeah. King Leopold the bastard uh, the, from Belgium and really like fucked over the Congo beforehand before America touches as well too. But America kind of like, continued fucking over the Congo in like 1950s. Dwight D. Eisenhower just like did a coup against like the Democratic elected like president because he was too close to being too close to being communist. And like the uh, Congo's been like fucked over ever since then too. And so it's like, it's right now as it is in the global supply chain, is that like, we can, I cannot have my monitors as it is, my computer as it is, or my smartphone as it is without the ingredient of this mineral called coltan. And the only way to get that is from the Congo. And so far, we are not ethically harvesting condom. Yeah, America's manifest SD. I agree, Lucidia. To which some people would just like, not my problem. I hate that fucking attitude of, like, not my problem. When I talk to people about, like, my disabled friends, like, uh, have, have to bake online in order to eat, they say to me, that's their problem. They should fix it. My friend Phoenix is, like, having this, so many different, like, episodes of depression because, like, no, they can't fix their own situation. I, re I hate and resist that, like, idea is, like, not my problem, or it's, like, that's their problem. They should fix it. And it's like, the self-reliant self and self-resilient person is, like, a myth. That's, like, like saying one man is an island. And that's something that Ayn Rand believes in. 
Yeah, I agree, Lucidia. How? <sighs> now, it's not, not to say that, like, owning the computer is the same as owning child porn. Even though Bosch, years ago, when, like, debating, like, uh, vegan gains, did actually make that statement. No, there's videos of that. True, there's no ethical production under capitalism, but there's some production of, uh, that are, like, more as well. You should not know who Botch is, honestly. He's not worth, like, knowing. He's, like, a bread tuber. He's just, like, a one of those, like, a dirtbag leftists as well, too. He's one of those assholes that's, like, will just, like, be a debate me bro and yell at you that you're wrong in this interpretation of, like, whatever leftist thing that he talked about at the time. And he's willing to use slurs. No, oh, I'm talking about someone else. Oh, okay. The Zill Bosch is a piece of shit, honestly. He's been like, he was so terrible to a friend of mine years ago. He spent four hours yelling about like my friend, and all my friend did was just like critiqued him on his like position of gender abolitionist. Uh, so he spent uh, four hours on stream yelling about my friend. Not naming names, but still yelling about my friend. Yeah, but anyway. Um. So let's see, where was I? Um, uh, okay, so like I'm not to this point. Uh, so continue. On. The Ministry of Strength and Dozen and Environmental Safety Standards to reduce. Okay, now I already read this part. After two years of interactive protections, we have finally banned. Okay, yeah, I already read this part because I would say it's like, okay, you banned the creation of like all these things and asbestos and all these other things too. But what about the, like the places where there, there's still asbestos or like like lead paint in still some places? Um, and that's why in like some low income like uh, communities, mostly black and brown people in those communities, um, they are still like they still have problems of like uh, there's like lead in their blood because they they're born in places where there's still lead lead paint, and like sometimes those like the lead paint chips gonna come off and something like that until like little get that look like candy unfortunately, and they're not like immediately poisoned right then by eating paint chips, and so like they will get some lead in those things too. So there's a lot of work that still needs to be done. I agree with like banning the product itself as well too. So no future uh, products are going to be built with that thing as well too. But if we don't like they get rid of all the asbestos and all that are currently in like use right now, then that uh, we still have a problem there. Yeah, yeah, that's a good thing, but it doesn't go far enough, which is constantly my problem with the Democrats. They do some good things, but they don't go far enough at all. Uh, continue on. We will. We. And we provided that we prohibited the use of like silicon fibrous, a pesticide that can like sicken like a farm workers and children. We set we also set America's first like national drinking water standard to like finally protect the local water supplies from pollution and with like a PFS toxins and forever chemicals linked to cancer. Um, through the bipartisan infrastructure and law, yeah, I have my issues with that law. Uh, we are upgrading water waste, uh, is water waste systems. Uh, we were replacing every toxic lead pipe in America. Long overdue work that has long guaranteed that every person in the country can like turn on the faucets and drink clean water. Uh, does Flint have green green clean in water now? The bipartisan, the bipartisan infrastructure rule, again, be suspicious whenever the bipartisan is said, uh, because that means that the Republican Party, the fascist party, also agreed to that law. So continue on. Uh, hold on. Lucidia says, there's a person I don't know personally or anything, but I retweet them a lot on Twitter. And well, when I was on Twitter. Anyway, hey, and then the message, it usually says something like, I'm a black trans woman escaping abuse in a household, or something on the long, along those lines. Followed by something more specific uh, that they need at the time. Money for food, money to have a place to stay for uh, the night, etc. Okay. You probably like it. We're going to continue that message. I'll uh, wait for like uh, you write out the rest of it. Um, but I'm going to continue reading on from here. The bipartisan infrastructure law also includes important work to like speed the cleanup of like toxic Superfund and brown sites that have like leach poisonous water waste into like nearby neighborhoods for decades. To cover those costs, the law finally restored a vital polluter pays uh, tax that has like has lapsed like 26 years before. Uh, once again, collecting revenue on and on any chemical uh, sold in the United States and directed it into the Superfund Trust Fund to pay for cleanup. Anyway, and I would, uh, so the city also says, I wish I could like help them out uh, more uh, than just retweeting stuff all uh, all the time. I wish that they have them like had to like it, it had such a terrible time. Yeah, I know, know that feeling, uh, the city. 
Phoenix is kind of like a similar thing. Phoenix thankfully got like a, a Section 8 voucher for their apartment so they can live on their own and away from their like emotionally neglectful father. Or uh, Phoenix is non binary, but like to like Phoenix's father, uh, Phoenix will still be like his little girl. And he has never used like Phoenix's correct name, always to use her dead name. Uh. Uh, continue on. At the same time, the administration has greatly increased the civil and criminal enforcement of our nation's environmental laws, boosting funding for the Justice Department and Environmental Protection Agency, resulting in faster cleanliness and tougher compliance. We support increased monitoring, transparency, and like community engagement in this work. Uh, I'm glad that they're away from their father. Yeah, but it's just like it sucks because like every single bill is kind of like almost nearly it's like it's kind of behind uh like. Uh, is like is like third or fourth from us. I hope Phoenix can still like manage to like live a happier life, especially now that they can they're away from their father. They've been away from their father for years now, and living on their own for years now. It hasn't been easy. I mean, they like seven months ago, eight months ago, they lost their TDAP, the Temporary Disability Assistance Program. Um, uh, they were denied SSI. The reason why they were denied SSI is because, like, the judge said, well, you didn't get a prescription for your mobility aid. They have a walker. You got a walker off Amazon. The reason why my friend Phoenix did not, like, get the seek the prescription for the mobility aid, they had, like, they were in a car accident in 20, 2008 and still have chronic pain because of that. The reason why my friend Phoenix did not get a, did not tr even try to get a prescription for the mobility aid, the walker, that was the last time they saw a doctor. The doctor has said, "Have you tried losing weight? How can they lose weight when everything hurts?" So yeah, fat phobia uh, raises his ugly head as well too. So that's why they're denied of like SSI because of fat phobia. Um, and an able body judge decided like, "Oh, uh, I'm uh, I don't think you're like disabled. You didn't get like a prescription for your uh, walker as well too. Denied SSI." Uh, so the for the longest time they only had the temporary disability assistance program, which was only like one hundred and seventy dollars a month or something like that. Um, and they so and they they even had food stamps as well too, but that's only like one hundred sixty dollars a month or something like that. Um, but then like seven months ago, eight months ago, they lost their DTP, their temporary disability assistance program because like uh, the uh, caseworker. Or wanted to like prove, are you really disabled? Or do you really need to help us with like that? And they said like, well, you have a Patreon, so you're receiving income from that Patreon. And so why do you need to like a, a temporary disability assistance program when you have a Patreon? They closed, they had to close down that Patreon because of that. They were only getting like thirty dollars a month from Patreon, twenty five from me. Like thirty, thirty five. I forget how much you, they were getting. Um, so they have to close down a Patreon. And then also, they had, uh, my friend Phoenix had to then contact all the people that were giving them money for like two month period, including me. So I had to take a screenshot of my PayPal receipts or the PayPal transactions to Phoenix, just directly to Phoenix. And all of my, my history of cash app, um, to Phoenix in within a two month period. And then like, write out the statement saying, yes, I give them Phoenix this money. And it forwarded over to Phoenix. Uh, another friend of mine on Facebook like had to contact me. He's like, I got this email from like Phoenix saying that I needed to show like proof that I like, get the money or something like that. It, I, I think that's Phoenix, but I don't recognize the email. So is this a scam? I confirmed like, no, Phoenix could uh, contact me on DMs on Discord. So yeah, that is real. No, they have to prove that like they have been receiving money from people. In order to prove that, like they need temporary, there's their temporary disability assistance program to be still in state as well too, and they haven't got it back. So every so often, the Phoenix needs like two hundred thirty dollars right away, or else they'll lose internet or lose something else. So far, so good in like uh, keeping them uh, afloat and keeping it, uh, the power on, and internet on as well too. But they will, uh, but like, what's is their income? They have a voucher for their apartment for Section 8, and then they have food stamps, and that's it. And the food stamps not even enough to cover food. Oh, well, why can't your friend work? Why can't your friend work? Why can't your friend work? It's like, no, it's, it's painful. It's difficult. 
is bad is bad for their physical health and mental health to like work at something like Target, and they did before. And, and I wish that like get through some people who said so like no, there's some people that just can't work, and I will accept that some people don't want to work. And sure, they will abuse the system, they'll cheat the system, and they will just like will be giving someone money so they won't work. But I'm okay with that. If it means Phoenix doesn't have to suffer, yeah, they won't even like pay veterans for like uh, Vietnam for damages until like a few years ago. Um, uh, and that's how like long it takes for our system to go around it. Yeah, hello, like zero uh, Billy uh, Butler, uh, King Twenty C. If none of you are mine, who's also a veteran, and talked and mentioned yesterday, um, they wanted to, like they wanted me to like read one section that was at the end of the of this like um document about like veterans and how they're going to like uh, provide services for veterans. And King Twenty C. They just like we go yeah yeah right bullshit. The VA is still a mess right now. And, like, they don't believe the Democrats are going to, like, make anything better with the VA as it is. And so, yeah, that's the thing. They it, So the Democrats in this party platform will say they'll do some things, but I think that the, what they say is, like, doesn't go far enough, and it's not, like, uh, good enough. But welcome on in, uh, Sir Bailey Butler. How are you doing? Uh, where was I? Okay, right here. Uh, at the same time, the administration has like greatly increased civil and criminal enforcement of our nation's environmental laws, boosting the funding for the... Uh, uh, oh, wait, I think I already read, read this part. All right, going to go with the next paragraph. Uh, throughout, we are keeping up to big... Uh, we're, we'll keep standing up to big oil. Hold on. You still have not bought in factoring, so I don't... I somehow doubt you're going to stand up to big oil, but let's get to. As we are clean... Uh, as our clean energy boom breaks the like in dust in the industry's monopoly hold on energy markets for the first time in 100 years we increase the royalties that like oil and gas companies have to pay to drill or mine on public lands again uh, need health care seven thousand dollars book me again yeah exactly uh, and again, I'm an anarcho-syndicalist, and if I were to live in a, a uh, battleground state like Arizona or uh, Colorado, or like hey, if Colorado's it's possible, Colorado could go blue. Um, Wisconsin or Min Min Michigan, Georgia, North Carolina, Virginia, and places where it's like close enough, I would like vote. Uh, uh, yes, I would vote for the Kamala Harris and the Democrats. I will have to in those like states because my vote matters in those states like Ohio and some of that, maybe even Florida. Who knows if Florida could turn blue or Texas. Uh, doubt Texas would turn blue. Doubt Florida would turn blue. But, like, I'm in Washington State, I'm, unless it's, like, within five or ten points, I'm just going, like, I'll choose to vote for the socialists or, like, write in, like, someone else. Because if I, I'm, I'm voting that way because my vote doesn't matter for the president. Anyway. Um... Anyway, the Demo as the Democrats say, they're throughout the uh, throughout. We'll keep standing out the big oil as our clean energy boom breaks the industry monopoly hold in energy markets for the first time in hundred years. We increase royalties. For I already read this part. I'm sorry. Hey, it's like they say they increase the royalties for oil and gas companies to drill on public lands. They but like also at the same time, Biden approved like a uh, offshore uh, drilling as well too. When like environmental like um environmental groups like protested that, but like. It's better that we have Biden in the office instead of Trump, but like Trump will, the Biden kind of in the same way, more or less. You got to know, though, that Mexicans are the biggest like, threat to the world. Don't, don't look up. Yeah, exactly, sir, Billy. Uh, always like uh, scapegoating the, like, the Mexicans or the illegal immigrants. No one's illegal. And we're charging at least 10 times more for the bombs that are required to like, hold companies accountable for cleaning up like drill sites and, or capping their abandoned wells. Again, um, Tim Walz approved the Energy Line 3 pipeline and, like, Sandy Rock happened under Obama. Uh, continue. Um, which happened, like, a uh, left dispute with oh, methanes. Uh, states and private, like, landowners have for years charged more than, like, the federal uh, government does to lease their lands. It's time to, that taxpayers got a similar return. Going forward, we will eliminate tens of billions of dollars in our own in other unfair oil and gas subsidies. A wind, windfall par, uh, profiteering, profiteering and causing prices spike at the pump. We will release our own supplies to keep the uh, cost down for the American people. And when we will hear the potential of like uh, 
and when we hear of potential collusion or price gouging, we will hold um, oil and gas executives uh, accountable.